This is Bianca Portillo with WHYY Young Journalists. Directly behind me stands the Center for Art and Wood. Inside these gigantic doors is a magical wonderland filled with life-inspired masterpieces created out of wood. The center was originally located on 5th and Vine. Today it's located on North 3rd Street. Let's go look inside. The Center for Art and Wood was founded by Albert Lakoff 26 years ago. Since day one, the center has used almost exclusively wood in all the work they display. The top floor houses their permanent collection, while the bottom one shows their current exhibition. Ron Hubberson, the director of exhibitions and collections, told us about the center's founder, Albert Lakoff, and why his work is important. His role was basically in the 1970s to create a, an area for artists to show woodworking, wood art, as well as wood turning. It is important for us to show, um, especially with woodworking, because a lot of wood shops are being closed within schools, um, to show the process, the, the technique of wood, to keep the art alive and flourishing. The center has Saturday workshops to teach people how to create works made out of wood. The staff was kind enough to talk to us in detail about the type of work that is done at the workshops and its importance. There's all kinds of things that we do. The last few we did Pinocchio workshops. So they were doing, they were making their own puppets and they were constructing the heads and then we turned noses on a lathe so they would have these long wooden noses. In these workshops to create these pieces, artists used lathes to carve and shape the wood. Uh, the best way to imagine it is a pottery wheel that's spinning in front of you, but it's like a pottery wheel on its side. So you have wood spinning in front of you, and then you can use different tools to work with it and create the different shapes and textures. The center moved to its new location on North 3rd Street to be more evolved in First Fridays, which is essential to the gallery. First Friday is quite important because um, that is the night where we get about 600 people that come through our um, venue at a time uh, through about uh, basically a three hour period. Um, in that time we have um, students, um, teachers, um, artists, collectors, they all come through and it's, it's a great time to just um, have people come through and see their work. The gallery shares this exhibit with the public for free allowing visitors to meet the artists and see their work. Currently, the center is showcasing the work of Susan Hagen in an exhibit entitled Social Studies. Um, Susan is very interested in the social minority, um, getting involved within communities that are kind of the outcasts of society, um, diving into their, their personal um, experiences. She actually worked with the um, prison um, here in the city to document the history of the prison and the people actually be, that weren't incarcerated, but the people that actually lived and worked during that time. In the series that we have here, which is called our Teenager Project, um, she dived into a social group of, of teenagers and trying to find out what makes them tick, what involves them, because her son at the time was 13. You will see in this exhibition um, drawings of every person that she has interviewed and been with. Um, and then after she interviews them, talks with them, gets to know them, she does do sketches of them. Um, she asks them to pose any way that they would like. Um, so it brings out their personality. She does not pose them. And then when she goes back to her studio, then she starts working on these pieces that are the sculptures. Well, there you have it, folks. This is the Center for Art and Wood. Whenever you're in the area, make sure you pay them a visit. Bianca Portillo with WHYY Young Journalist, signing off.